I designed a 3D printed uh, drawer pull knob uh, for my clockmaker's bench, and I have a whole pile of them I've printed up. And since I want to screw them in with a bolt like this here, why I'm going to put in these heat insert, heat set inserts just in there for the bolt to screw into. And to do that, well, first of all, I bought the inserts from uh, McMaster Car and the bolts as well. And what I'm doing today is just one by one putting these heat inserts in. So I'm going to tell you how I'm doing that. My soldering iron is set to 437 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 225 degrees C Celsius. And I chose that temperature because the melting temperature, the extrusion temperature of this plastic for the 3D printed knobs is 205 degrees. So I experimented a little around that temperature uh, to get something where I could insert the uh, insert uh, reasonably quickly, but still slowly enough that I can control how it's tilting and everything. Another thing I did earlier for another heat insert is I bought a tip for my soldering iron for doing heat inserts, heat set inserts. And this is a little round tip that just plugs straight in to that brass insert. I also have some tweezers here to help me stick it on. And that way it heats more uniformly than if I use a soldering, regular soldering tip. <clears throat> so I'm going to let that warm up a little bit. It'll take a minute to warm up. And so I'm going to insert, I'm going to insert the uh, heat set insert. And then before it cools, I'm going to screw it into this fixture here so that uh, this, the insert uh, winds up straight. Uh, or perpendicular to the surface of the knob if you're getting technical. So you can see I'm pushing that in with just a little bit of force, not much at all, and it's slowly melting in to the knob. And what I'm looking for is keeping it upright as I go, but also I'm waiting for it to get down far enough that it gets just below the surface, which I think it's at. Yes, okay. So now I quickly screw it into this fixture. Not real tight because that would pull the, the insert out. I just want to do it, I just want to screw it in tightly enough that everything's straight. And then I push the knob in also so that it all sets up as the insert cools. And so I'm, I'm going to sit that aside for a moment while I get another insert out for the next one. And notice I'm putting the, the uh, insert in so that it's wider at the top than the bottom. That's really important, otherwise it doesn't stick in very well. So now that's cooled enough, I can take it off this fixture here. Yeah, it's nice and cool. And you can see it's a, it's a really nice flat insert. So I just need to do that about 20 more times for the other knobs and I'll be set.